Okay. MD Lug March 2015 Raspberry Pi Day with Tony. Tony Bemis. Like the same version, the same version. Is that a heat sink you got on yours? It is. Yeah, the case I got came with heat sinks because it actually can put a little fan in here too. If you want it. Oh, yeah. But it really doesn't need it. It says well, you have Raspberry Pi 2. So how many USBs does it have? That tells you one Four. thing. Okay, so it's probably a B plus. Well, B plus, but the Raspberry 2, Raspberry Pi 2 has it. Did you just It was this? two, the same one. Oh yeah, this is, so you have the, the newest version. The nicest, the nice thing about it is, and now it's a quad core processor, right? Yeah, a quad yeah, core yeah. and a bigger RAM. Where what I'm running right now is a single core processor with 512 max of RAM. So, in all the, the OS's, they work the same. Because if you have an older one, you pop it up and plug it into the new one, it usually doesn't work right. You, you have to go through the installation process, okay. and there's some settings that find that it's a different chip set, isn't it? Yeah. It's like ARM 11 or something? Um, I can't remember. There's something. I have a silly question, but do all the old things for Raspberry Pi, do they work on the new one backwards compatible? Do you know? Like that, the ROM that you, the ROM that you got on there and that, whatever the Linux version you got on there, does that run on the new ones too? Yeah, okay. but uh, like I was saying, you can't just pull the SD card out of this and pop it into his. I see. It won't boot right. But if, like, I I, can, I have it on mine, and if I just write it to his, and then it goes through the installation process, which is usually like a few minute thing, it's really quick, uh, it'll run fine on his. Cool. Yeah. What, what other kind of things are we doing with these files? Uh, there's, there's a whole yeah we'll, everything. we can go through and, and have people throw out ideas and stuff process. like that they, I, I've seen people run weather stations on them you can uh, you, I have a backup server running on mine okay. um, so for me to get off-site backup that's a two I I have a Raspberry Pi with a hard drive a two terabyte hard drive plugged into it and it just sits at my yes. parents house Small and I slowly right. back up once a week to that huh. yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want to try, or is there somebody in breath there? Do you want to go next? Let me jump in for five sec, five minutes. <clears throat> Can I jump in for five minutes for yeah. just some business type stuff? Hi, I'm Gib, as uh, Tony said. I'm the president of the MD Lug Club, uh, Metro Detroit Linux user group. I see a lot of new faces here. We've been having a lot of trouble getting people who are interested in the club to you know step forward and, and um, present. Right? Uh, we do have an interesting thing coming up in April. Uh, a guy coming in with an uh, open source uh, product for you know, open source software for basically a medical application, you know, so like doctors and things like that. And they're using it in third world countries and stuff like that. So if you're interested in open source, it's kind of an interesting uh, you know, new thing. To, What's that date? That's, uh, so it's the second Saturday. Okay. Um, so we're the second Saturday every month, except in the months when we're not. Because you know there might be a problem with the, the library is closed on the weekends during the summer months, so we might have to adjust. You get on our mailing list. Go to mdlug.org. Yeah. Yeah. We have a mailing list, and we have a, a lot of active you know people using that mailing list. And we'll send out new information on that mailing list. We'll try to keep the website up to date with uh, uh, meeting dates and stuff like that. So April is kind of a uh, you know thing. We're having trouble you know setting meetings up ahead of time. I'm trying to keep this to five minutes, so I'm going real fast here. Um, and we're uh, not for profit, so we're registered with the state of Michigan. Uh, we have this agreement now with the library to use the library, and because the library has certain rules and stuff like that, they require that we provide them with workshops. So uh, this you know, is open to the public, and it's free. Our membership is free. Consider yourselves members now that you've attended. Okay, so sign up for our website. Watch our, our website and sign up for our, our mailing list. Um, so as part of this, uh, you know, we've got to provide workshops. We're looking for people who are interested in presenting or in, and maybe we could just have some informal discussions like we're doing now. We're just throwing out an idea and seeing who shows up. This looks like a very popular thing. Um, and I'll get a little bit, uh, little bit more into that. Um, we've got to jump uh, just for a moment now and uh, talk about one of the club things that we have to do because we're considered a not-for-profit. Boy, I'm glad I got it early so I got a chair. I see one chair over here. 
Um, maybe we can you can go down to the library people and ask if they have extra chairs or something like that. I, we want you to be comfortable. This is going to be going on for a little bit here. Um, so another uh, topic is because we're a nonprofit, we're registered with the state of Michigan. We have to you know adhere to bylaws. Our bylaws says we have to have a nominations. So we have to go through this process of nominating uh, official um, people for the four positions that we have: president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Although this past year we didn't have anybody do this secretary thing, and the secretary doesn't really do anything anyway. <laughs> some of those, we used to have like someone keeping notes and, and just transcribing them and providing them and stuff, but we haven't been doing that uh, much lately. Um, partly because it's been a small group, we've been you know sort of you know being able to just talk together and, and make things happen. Uh, the real important thing is probably the treasurer. The treasurer keeps track of all of our money, right? And right now, the joke is that if someone absconded with all of our funds, they get as far as Toledo. <laughs> of course, now with better, you know, uh, uh, gas mileage and on the cars and lower prices, it might get a little further, but not very much. So, so it's not a real big concern. But we do have a credit card the person has to watch, and uh, we use that just basically for our Amazon cloud uh, service. And this is you know, really thrilling that we have a full room. I mean, we've had meetings with five people in them, right? Um, so we want to open it up for, um, for nominations. Um, I will propose, since we're all very interested in talking about Raspberry Pi and not about club operations and stuff, that we maybe do the actual uh, election next month and leave it open for nominations all month long. Yeah, per so bylaws, you have to have uh, nominations the month before and then elections. OK, great. So we are now open for nominations. And we do take nominations through email. Right. So if you feel you want to take on a, a role, a real small role would be secretary where you can choose to take notes or not or whatever. Uh, the vice president role is takes the, on the position of running the, the room or the, the meeting if the president is, you know, if I didn't make it today, you know, someone would have to step in, that type of thing. Um, and the president basically sets up uh, the room and the meetings and, and that's traditionally what the president has been doing. Uh, and I'm, I'm open to stepping aside if anybody is interested. I've been doing this for a couple of years. I tried to step aside. And then, you know, I was a vice president, and the president, you know, decided he wanted to do something else. So I came back as his president. Um, so we, we have, a, you know, a need, basically, for more people to get involved. Um, I'll also mention there's a thing called PenguaCon. I know that's a difficult word to try to understand. And, uh, but uh, so the Penguin is the mascot for uh, the Linux operating system, which is a very popular open source product. Um, so there's a that's April 24th, 25th, and 26th in the Western Hotel in Southfield. It's a thousand plus geeks descending on a hotel for the weekend. And if you're at all interested in in, in this topic, you're probably interested in similar types of topics. And there's a hundred different one-hour segments that they will be presenting on technical topics over that weekend. And that's just the technical stuff. There's all kinds of other tracks. There's music. There's um, uh, anime, there's uh, sci-fi sci is another big thing, and then um, you know fantasy and uh, uh, writer martial arts and, and writers, writers, right? So yeah. writers, you know. So if you want to do science fiction writing that type of thing, uh, just a whole bunch of different things. So that's a really big event that's coming up within you know not too long. So uh, you know, get on get on board, and try to figure that out, and, and learn a little bit more about that. Is it also posted on your website, more information on this? Or so mdlug.org. They have their own website. Okay. Yes, Penguacon. so penguacon.org. P-E-N-G-U-I. There will be a link on the website. So Tony will take care of that. Uh, so then the president also uh, appoints certain positions, such as the webmaster and the email guru or whatever we're calling that. And uh, we used to have some other positions, that, uh, like the librarian, but nobody really has physical paper anymore, so that kind of went away. Um, and caterer, so we're not allowed to have food in here, so the catering thing went away. Um, so, uh, but, you know, for the most part, we basically have the same group of people doing the same types of things, and we'd really like to be able to shake that up and, you know, involve some of you people, all right? So that was my five minutes. I think I'm done. Uh, if there's any questions or whatever, I'll be available a little bit after the meeting. I'm trying not to take the time now to get into a lot of the club stuff, because there's a lot of people here who are new and don't really care necessarily about the club. Um, but we also tend to go out to uh, lunch after the meeting, and we go to Greenfield and Ford Road. There's a little um, a Coney Island there, and we'll sit and talk, and uh, you can keep me there all night if you want to, to talk about what we're doing and all kinds of technical topics. 
Okay. Did they give us an internet code? So usually what they do is they give us sheets of paper um, with the codes out. And I suppose nobody went down and got one of those. Uh, no, uh, I didn't. So, okay, so I will take on the role of going down and see if we get some codes uh, for uh, That's for the Wi-Fi access. You have to enter the code or you have to go down and buy a $2 access. So how many people want Wi-Fi access while they're in the room here today? It would help. So we got two, three. Don't feel it's, it's I'll give it to you free if you... Yeah, if you have a library card, then you can go Yeah, ahead. library card, you get it for free. So that's three, maybe four, five, something like that. Okay, let me go down and do that. Uh, so I'll turn that back over to you. Know, Tony, you just want to run the, the discussion here on the uh, sure. pipe a little bit here? Uh, fine. Okay. All right, so I guess uh, we'll do a little bit of show and tell, and people can ask questions about how we're running Raspberry Pis. Um, I have my little laptop with me, so if you have an SD card and a Pi, I can load an image on for you. Uh, if I don't have the image on my laptop right now, then, well, I, actually I don't think, I, I may have one. Uh, so we'll have to download it, so when he gets back from getting the internet codes, then we can download it and get it on there for you. Um, and so from there, uh, do you guys want to go next? Or is this? Sure. All right. Power. Okay. Uh, right on the front of the cart is a plug. Alright, cool. Go for plug. So if you just walked in a few minutes ago, I showed a retro gaming system on mine. It was called uh, Laka, and um, and I'm really blanking on names right now. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Dave. Dave. Yeah. Uh, they have RetroPie, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> it's very similar. It's based off mostly the same stuff. Um, oh, did you have to do any configuration with yours other than loading the ROMs on? No. So, yeah, the difference then between them. Now, my Pi is a Model B. It's not a B+. Plus. Um, it has only has two USB ports. And it's extremely slow. So, the uh, sole purpose of this is just to do retro gaming. 